This is so uh I'm I'm gonna say the broad scope of the intro is we can give some uh cooking advice because this is an advice show or give advice and I would say the three of us are grown adults who often do cooking and we may give cooking advice. But the thing that directly inspired this is shortly before we began recording, I discovered that uh dry aged beef is just old meat. Just old meat. Me. So this was yes. it, and you thought, you had that thought that entered your brain, as so many thoughts do all the time, Uh huh. and you thought- I want to talk about old beef. That's old beef, a rich vein, old beef for my I wanna boys. I want to talk about old beef. Here, when you go into a fancy restaurant, and they right. say, this is like six-week dry-aged beef, you think, ooh, fancy, schmancy, but that just means like we put this beef in the refrigerator, and we forgot about it for a month and a half, and now we're charging you $30 extra to eat it. It's just, it is really weird how some food can be old, and we say it is- makes us sick Ugh. and other times the food can be old and we say it's delicious Ugh. Ugh. griffin do you have thoughts about old beef hold on guys oh god <laughs> i'm sorry guys ah, i busted my gut and it's, <laughs> it's fucking killing me the pain's really bad <laughs> my, i busted my gut talking about old beef oh fuck oh. <laughs> hey, doctor tuck it back together <laughs> Justin, gives, Justin, gives Sydney oh, asked my brother. Justin, Justin, I'm just saying it's OB. We like to call it dry. <laughs> that's like if I said, "Here's some dry aged oh. milk." Oh my god! What if I said dry aged milk, Griffin? Justin, get Sydney. Justin, get Sydney. Justin, get Sydney. Or like some dry aged chicken. Maybe some dry aged oh. fish. Shame on me. I mean, let me say shame on me because I was trying to help Travis carry on, but he was like, um, you know how with the magic trick, there's the pledge and the turn and the prestige. Yeah. Travis was uh, just stuck in the pledge. It's of, it's, it's, a, it's if a magician let's go behind the bit. <laughs> yes, if a magician um decided that their act was going to be heavily dependent on audience interaction. So it's like if the magician said, "See this dove? What are you gonna do with it?" <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I right. didn't so much have a prestige in mind when I thought about OB. I'm going to let just... my brother hold this dove and see if he does anything funny with hey, it. you take this. It's your dove now. You have to pay for dove food. <laughs> and then Griffin's yelling from the audience, doves are bullshit. Uh, a dove's attacking me and my kids. You guys don't want to talk about old beef? It's beef. not even observational humor, Travis. It's just <laughs> observation. observation. Yeah. But you know, sometime and somewhere in there, we can find. We often find the funny in things that what others might call mundane, and we make them mundane. <laughs> but that's your job. You yeah. should have found some of the funny before you came to the table. Well, listen, I can't always do all the work, Justin. Sometimes I need you and Griffin to pick up the slack. Any of the work. <laughs> well, I hey, I work. planted the seed, and I need you to water it and you sunshine down nothing. on it. Oh you planted nothing. You told me that they sell seeds at Lowe's, and then ran down an yeah. alley. <laughs> That's you more than nothing. some people do. I expected you, my older brother, who's always been there for me, to then go buy the seeds and then help me grow the wheat and then help Travis, me bake the bread. You have just pushed us off of a bridge. Uh -huh. And while we're falling, you are yelling down at our bodies. <laughs> You're not there for me right now. Yeah.